And I'm back with you guys today, and today we are playing Operation Neon Dawn on Rainbow Six Siege test server. As you guys know, it just went live as of today, November 9th. I will be probably posting this on Tuesday, November 10th. So, a little day late, but we're actually ahead of time uh, with the season update, unlike previous seasons. So, we're going to go ahead and talk about our new operator, Aruni. We're finally having an evened out attacker and defending side. As you guys know, we are all missing one more operator on both side, attacker and defenders. So we have Aruni adding to the defender sided. So, as you can see, she's a little bit more different than operators past. As you can see, uh, she has like a robotic arm and a robotic leg, which is also pretty cool. I thought that was really awesome. Um, aesthetic wise um gadget wise she has the saria saria gate whatever the fuck that is she's a two speed two armor two difficulty just by the way and uh she has a laser activating device that sets on walls and entry points and deactivates after damaging gadgets or opponents that it and it react it's reactivatable i was a little mouthful of words so pretty much what her gadget is is a castle slash jaeger combination essentially so you put it in front of a wall and a cap can too so you put it in front of a wall or a window or a rotate hole anywhere um whether it's on the top more, more than likely it's going to be on the top um you put it there and it creates like a wall uh, you can obviously see through it you can shoot through it and everything but there's like laser beams um if attackers walk through it it damages them uh up to two times i think they're 30 health um increments so the first time you walk through it as an attacker 30 health is gone if you stay in there another second it's another 30 health gone so that's 60 health and you'll be 40 hp before it deactivates so it'll deactivate for 30 seconds uh the laser and damage um component will not be activatable and uh for another 30 seconds and then you have to shoot the little canister at the top similar to like mira but it won't break it it'll just reactivate the lasers um, same thing goes with a projectile. If you throw a flash, a nade, a smoke, a Thatcher, EMP, or even Hibana pellets, I think even work too. Uh, even drones, um, go through those lasers and those gates and it'll eat them up similar to like an ADS and it'll deactivate for 30 seconds. And once the 30 seconds is over, you have to shoot the little thing and it'll reactivate. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't think that it should be invincible. I should have note, uh, noted that it is invincible by anything. It's not bulletproof, which I think they should make it bulletproof so you can at least destroy it with like an ash charge or something. But in the utility meta of Rainbow Six Siege, uh, you don't want more bulletproof uh, gadgets, which kind of sucks right now uh, because you can't really counter those unless you keep throwing nades and stuff like that into it for 30 seconds so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into her regular lowdown as you can see she's pretty cool she's got a scar on her face looking like the joker out here uh, she's got the p10 roni which is only fitting for her name is a rooney a roni a rooney and she has the roni pretty fitting i like the roni a lot uh always running the holographic sight it's really awesome on this gun every time i play mozzie it's always the p10 with the hollow uh flash hider uh extended barrel or compensator i'm actually going to run extended barrel instead just because you really want that uh, damage at range and when it comes to the grips angled grip is always better than vertical grip if you're playing on pc if you're not go ahead and put the the vertical grip and lasers are pretty much useless with this gun next we have the mk14 ebr which is dokubi's ebr Pretty insane addition to the defender weapons list that we have growing. Um, I think they did modify it to where you can't have like the four times or the eight times scope that Doka B has. You can only have the 1.5 times. Obviously, you're probably going to be wanting to use that one. Maybe a, a reflex if you really wanted to. This is the, one of the one guns that I would recommend a vertical grip if you're going to be playing somewhat stationary. But if you're going to be playing quick, um, angle grip is always good. And if you're playing probably want to run the suppressor just for uh, extra recoil and it's on suppression plus it's a DMR it's gonna have a shit ton of damage anyway so if it's 51 damage without it it's 60 so I mean 50 damage a shot is pretty fucking good so that's not a, a big trade-off there so those are her two primaries and she has the PBR 92 which is the Capital Caviera pistol uh, muzzle break obviously super standard on uh, pistols when it comes to single fire rates she's gonna have the bulletproof camera and a barbed wire they might change these around it'll probably be like a uh movement scanner beep beep thingies whatever the fuck they're called and or maybe a, C a c4 or impacts i really don't know what they would do but other than that 
is pretty fucking cool. Um, we finally have even attackers and defenders. I didn't honestly think that we would ever go into like an uneven attacker slash defender side of the game ever since Chimera and um, the one where fucking Sophia and Ella came out or some shit. Remember these two? There was like two of these, only one of them, and it was like two of these and like one of them. I don't remember. Oh no, it was Finca and Do uh, Finca and Lion, and then there was two operators and only one of these, and then, like. Another two operators, and there was only one of these. And I don't know. It was weird. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much all we have. Uh, we have some new packs. Um, Sugar Fright packs, if you guys haven't already seen those, are pretty much a waste of money. Don't don't spend money on those. Well, other than that, that's pretty much a wrap-up of what's going to come in Neon Dawn. I'll be making more content based around Rainbow Six hopefully soon. Um, as you guys know, my computer isn't really the best at running uh, and recording slash streaming that well. As you can see, I'm getting 60 FPS on a loading screen, which is not good um usually you want like 100 to 200 just on a loading screen alone in game 60 is okay but you obviously want to have that higher upgrades with the new gpus cpus that are coming out i'm hoping to get a brand new computer brand new overhaul for everything and hopefully make some better content for you guys other than that thank you guys so much for watching catch you guys in the next one peace